How's it going, everyone? I'm Blue, and this is my alter ego, Corey. And together, we have a YouTube show called Xanadu, starring yours truly. Hello, what about me? And it's all about building my virtual empire. <laughs> well, all I see is Corey doing all the work and you having all the fun. I think building an empire is all fun. For you, absolutely. Anyways, you guys have a good spotlight interview. We're going to go punk some astronauts on the space station for our next TikTok video. Blue out. All right, cut. Hey, thanks a lot, Blue. I appreciate it, buddy. So my name is Corey Strasberger. I'm a visual effects artist. What's going on, everybody? So I got my alter ego finished. Blue is more or less an extension of me in the metaverse or the virtual world. And Xanadu is both his spaceship slash home base and also the name of a sort of an episodic YouTube series that we recently created starring Blue, and it kind of follows his mishaps and adventures as he's building his virtual empire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The process of making an episode is actually very similar to what you do for an animated short film. You know, I kind of write something really quickly, I block it all out just using a voiceover in Unreal, and kind of figure out my rough edit, and after that's sort of locked, I just go into my home garage capture studio, do all the capturing, which I'm using an XN's link suit for the body capture, an iPhone for the face capture, and then I have a pair of Manus gloves, which capture the fingers. And so all combined just goes into the Unreal Engine. And then I start refining the cameras, the editing. I start introducing the lighting and do all the final sound design and music, and then just kind of output the final piece from there. Originally, I wanted to try and get my episode times down to a week. Right now, I'm about three and a half weeks consistently, but I think with over time, and I'm gonna try to rope some more artists in to kind of help speed it up and just make it better, my goal is to get it down to a week. One of the big advantages of being a one-man band and wearing all these hats and how the Unreal Engine works is that as I'm editing or setting up cameras, the sequencer is like gold to me because everything is real time and it's just this beautiful timeline like what I'm used to in any kind of compositing program. But yet I'm working in 3D, I'm working with 3D objects. You're setting up cameras, you're setting up lighting all in real time as fast as you can do it. Or I can kind of shift animation around or I can kind of restage a whole section of stuff. And being able to kind of do all of those things as they arise when you just get into that state and you're kind of building the thing, I've never had as much fun creatively in my entire life as I do when I sit in this thing and just kind of work. Mike, you sure you want to watch this go down? I'm not paying for therapy. When the MetaHumans dropped, it was, it was a little bit of a gift from God because it was just before I was about to put episodes out. And I was really worried that Blue being a humanoid wasn't gonna be quite up to the level, like too far in the uncanny valley. So I wasn't able to sort of create blue using the MetaHuman creator, but what I was able to do was sort of make a, as close to a blue looking MetaHuman as possible, and then I could extract a lot of the data from that MetaHuman and infuse that into blue, including like the body skeleton, the MetaHuman skin textures, which are very lifelike, and then also the blend shapes are all from scans of real humans and it helped Blue become much more articulated and, and realistic looking. I feel like in real life, some people are just naturally cool, right? That's not me. I'm very sort of dorky, geeky. And so Blue, in a sense, is a way for me to kind of be cool. Being him in his world, I could live out all the dreams that I want to do in reality. I can kind of do in, in this virtual space. And it's all happening right here within the Unreal Engine. Yeah. In a way, it's in a culmination of all the stuff I love sort of wrapped into one package that continually is going to evolve as, as sort of the technology evolves and as Xanadu and Blue evolve as, as a character and sort of as a storyline. Woo-wee! Yeah. Yeah.